everybody welcome back to a, another YouTube video I just want to start off by saying that if you enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below and obviously I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and clicking the bell notification so you get notified when I film um, and yeah I'm just gonna jump straight into this video because I am super excited and I can't wait to show you my first ever Chanel bag um, pre-owned um, Chanel bag. It's not vintage um, but I'm going to kind of go into a bit more detail um, about the bag and kind of what I was looking for and certain things like that. So if you want to keep watching go and get yourself a nice cup of tea and then come back and hopefully you'll enjoy this video. So here is the lovely box. Um, I did purchase um, this box myself um, from eBay just because the bag that I bought didn't come with a box um, and obviously I bought it on the terms that it didn't come with a box but I did want to do like an official unboxing so I did go ahead and purchase myself um, this authentic Chanel box and the ribbon and it came with the um, paper inside as well so I'm like really super happy um, the lady that I bought it from basically just had a load of Chanel boxes from bags that she had bought um, from Chanel and she just didn't want them anymore so I was very happy to pick this one up um, from eBay and it wasn't very expensive at all um, so yeah I just wanted to make it like very official because obviously this is like my first ever Chanel unboxing so I wanted to make it very special and to be able to like open it up and show you guys what I bought but I'm basically just going to give you a bit of detail quickly um, and then open the bag and show you um, the bag itself but obviously you can see from the title it is a Chanel boy. Now I was basically looking for, for a Chanel classic bag and I wanted it in the caviar leather and that was like my one thing that I, I just wanted to make sure that I wanted to get a caviar bag um, and I had a price range in mind that I was looking at and obviously it was nowhere near like £5,000 because I just cannot afford that um, but I was looking sort of around like under £3,000 um, in the hope that I would get lucky. Now I kept looking and I kept searching and I kind of realised that there was nothing in my budget that I could stretch to in order to get myself a Chanel classic bag in the caviar leather. It was just not going to happen. I was wishful thinking and I didn't want to buy a bag. Obviously there is the worry that it would be a fake bag and not authentic. So I knew that any bag that was below like £3,000 for a Chanel classic, unless it was obviously vintage, which is so hard to come by for a caviar leather bag especially, it was just not going to happen so I kind of gave up looking for like a couple of days but I just couldn't help myself like looking on eBay, I was looking on Vestiaire Collective, um, eBay, I was looking on Depop, I was looking on um, Vinted, like I was literally looking everywhere for a Chanel classic and I just couldn't push myself into buying the um, Chanel um, classic vintage only because although it is a beautiful bag the one thing that bothered me the most um, and it might sound really silly but um, when you buy a Chanel brand new it almost looks quite puffy and bubbly if that makes sense like the um, the diamond like pattern on the Chanel bag is quite like spongy and bubbly and I like that now buying a Chanel vintage bag most of them don't come like that they're quite flat um, and obviously they're quite worn and that's you know there's nothing wrong with that but I like them to be quite puffy and bubbly and that was like one of the things that I was looking for and it might only be like a minor thing to some people but for me it was quite a big thing like I wanted the bag to still have some structure to still look brand new but I was realizing that with my particular budget I was just that was just not going to happen so I gave up and then I was basically thinking in my head I either just save up and forget about it um or I kind of have a little look around and see what else from Chanel um, that I like and there were a few bags that I was looking at like there was a Chanel tote bag that um, my friend Shannon was also looking at which I was kind of I didn't want to just jump 
into buying a Chanel bag because I wanted to wanted a Chanel and I kind of felt like that was the avenue I was going down like I was getting desperate to buy one and I really wanted one and I wanted one now that I realized that I just needed to stop slow down it was becoming an obsession and I just needed to sort of relax a little bit so I gave up looking for a few days was having a little look on eBay and obviously watching so many YouTube videos um, about Chanel bags and other options that I could maybe look into and I remember about 10 years ago I had this big obsession with wanting a Chanel boy I didn't want a Chanel classic funny enough I really wanted a Chanel boy bag and I kind of forgot about the Chanel boy and then went off it a little bit and then the obsession came with, came in with really wanting a Chanel um, classic bag and especially over this Christmas period there were so many people and girls on YouTube buying the Chanel classic and there weren't many reviews of the Chanel boy and the reviews that I did find of the Chanel boy it was getting a mixture of um, reviews like some were good some were bad a lot of people sold their Chanel boy um, there were a couple of reviews where they were talking about how the Chanel boy is a bit more edgy it's a bit more quirky it's not as popular as the Chanel classic and to be honest, that then made me fall in love with the Chanel so much, the Chanel boy, so much more than it did the Chanel classic. Mainly on the basis of that actually this bag isn't that popular, not many people like it. Um, and this bag that I've got is quite different to what you might have seen on YouTube already, so that makes this even more special for me. Um, and so yeah, there was just a few other things and a few other elements that brought me onto actually really wanting a, a Chanel boy bag. And for my first bag, it was definitely a lot more um, in my budget and I had quite a few other options in terms of Chanel boy, like what leather I wanted, um, the material, the strap, and there were, I was able to sort of play around a little bit more with the Chanel boy in terms of searching and that opened up my options so much more and then I thought to myself well it's still going to be a special bag because it's still going to be my first ever Chanel bag yes okay it's not going to be the Chanel classic but I can't afford that and I don't think I will for a long time and I do want to make it a very special moment when it comes to buying my first ever Chanel classic because there is a part of me that does want to go into the shop um, into a Chanel boutique and actually sit down have a glass of champagne choose the bag, try the bag on, and I know that Chanel prices are going up and up and up, I believe. Um, they're going up like 30% every year, if I'm corrected. I might be wrong, but I know that they, their prices go up every April, um, and I believe it's like at least 10%. Um, I mean, their prices, like, you used to be able to buy a Chanel bag t uh, two years ago for £5,000, and now they're going brand new on the Chanel website for about 7000 and I just think that spending £7,000 on a bag is ludicrous unless you're like obviously you know very wealthy and um, you can afford it then amazing I would not be able to afford that bag at this moment in time so unfortunately the Chanel bought uh, the Chanel classic was for a brand new one anyway out of my out of my league at the moment and I've accepted that now and I'm happy with that because I know that if I save maybe in 10 years time I might be able to get that um, if I work hard and um, obviously I've just got into my new job as well so there's like that um, so I didn't want to put a lot of pressure onto myself into buying something that I just couldn't afford at this moment in time unless I sold my car or we remortgaged and I'm just not doing that for a bag especially because I absolutely love my car um, so I've settled on a Chanel boy and let me tell you I am in love so I'm gonna open the bag up um, because it's long overdue I've been talking long enough so I am very sorry for that but I'm gonna get this bag opened and show you my bag so I'm just gonna turn it around and hopefully my battery does not die because it looks like it's about to die this is the gorgeous Chanel box um, like I mentioned, I did purchase this separately and I put the ribbon on myself. I did watch a YouTube tutorial um, on how to tie a Chanel ribbon and it took me bloody ages. So I won't be doing that again. Um, but yeah, just for video purposes, I wanted it to be like an official unboxing. So this is the box and it's stunning and I can't wait to show you so I'm just gonna open it and I really don't want to undo this ribbon because when I tell you it took me ages like it took me so long to do it so if I just put it up 
open it like that and then obviously you've got the Chanel box I'm just going to pop that over there and I'm going to open it so it looks like that inside so you've got the Chanel sticker which I'm just going to slowly open and then I feel like I'm going to sneeze and then it opens up like so and then you've got the Chanel dust bag I also bought this dust bag separately um, from eBay as well just because I wanted to obviously protect my bag and this particular bag that I bought didn't come with a dust bag originally so I went ahead and bought my own one so this is the dust bag and yeah it's gorgeous obviously and I'm going to open up the bag I'll say open up the dust bag so you can see but there's like a little sneak peek so as you can see it's this gorgeous like dark grey colour um, the lighting probably isn't coming up like it's true colour because the lighting in this room is just absolutely terrible um, but I'm going to take the handle out so I'm going to pull this down so you can see my new to me gorgeous if I bring it up there Chanel boy bag and I literally am in love with it I know I'm going to keep this forever I'm probably not going to sell it um, I cleaned it up because it was literally covered in black I mean it still could do with a bit of a clean in certain places um, but it really doesn't bother me I really just like the look of it I feel like it looks a bit worn but um, very well loved and it just gives it a bit of like an edgy look to it I feel um, with some of the marks on there and I didn't pay like an extremely high price price for this I will go through pricing in a minute um, but for now I'm just going to sort of show you the bag um, but if you want to see before and after pictures because I have cleaned this bag up myself and if you want to see before and after pictures please head to my Instagram and you will see pictures on there it literally was covered in like denim um, colour so there was like um, the denim colour like had been rubbed off onto the back it had like black marks at the front um, it was literally just covered in mould um, where it had been kept in storage for so long and I bought this from a Japanese seller on eBay and I honestly I'm just so happy with it so I'm going to show you the bag on all angles and the back honestly cleaned up so well compared to how it originally looked like this is a million miles better than what it was um, obviously you've got these Chanel like little buttons here and then the hardware is this gorgeous like brass gold colour and they do need cleaning I have cleaned um, with brass so the um, button or say the button but the logo here um, and I haven't actually cleaned up the strap yet but I quite like it to be honest it, I feel like it gives it a bit of an edgy look to it and um, I really don't mind so I probably won't really clean the the strap up too much um, and then you've obviously got the Chanel logos on the side and then as I open it up now before I open it up you're gonna think oh my god the inside really needs a clean and to be honest it does um, I do need to clean the inside of it a bit better but I kind of like the look of it um, which you might think I'm crazy but to me it just gives it like this like I can't explain it but I don't mind it it really doesn't bother me um, I will clean it up anyway and then inside is immaculate it, there's no marks inside whatsoever and you've obviously got the number um, in there the serial number and then the Chanel logo just there with the pocket at the back and yeah so that is my new Chanel boy bag I'm probably going to show you what fits in here and how it looks when I wear it um, but I'm just gonna sort of go into pricing and tell you how much I paid um, including taxes because obviously this was from Japan to the UK and um, the total price of this Chanel boy bag was £2,556 something like that um, but it was around that it was no more than um, I say no more but it wasn't uh, I say expensive but obviously it's hard talking about money because some people might think oh my god £2,500 for a Chanel bag is so expensive but for a Chanel bag this is it's not expensive at all in my opinion and it's a Chanel boy bag I know that Chanel boy bags don't keep their value as much as the Chanel classics do but 
I feel like if I sold this and really cleaned it up, um, I probably could get what I paid for it back, which, you know, um, I'm not planning on selling it anyway, and I'm totally in love with it. So yeah, I got this from a Japanese seller, and the 2,500 um, was including the taxes, the handling fee, and the import duty, so actually, it's really not that bad at all, and yeah, I now have a Chanel boy, and I am completely in love. I love the colour. And yeah, I'm just very, very happy. So I'm gonna show you what fits inside now um, and then show you what it looks like when I wear it crossbody. So I'm just gonna quickly give you a closer look of the bag before I show you what fits inside. But that is what it looks like up close and the back of the bag. I can't really, I, I don't really know exactly what material, I think it's suede, um, it feels like suede and obviously when I was cleaning it, I cleaned it with um, all purpose um, foam cleaner, cleaner from a brand that I love and um, I use a lot so I'll leave a link down um, below to them um, but yeah, I am very happy with how it cleaned up so please go and follow my Instagram because you'll see what it looked like before um, and I just yeah I'm gobsmacked at how well this bag has cleaned up so yeah I'm going to show you what fits um, and I'm hoping I've tipped all of my contents out onto the bed so hopefully um, whatever I have in my old bag will fit in here but I'm just going to start off with my Chanel purse um, and I have done a video on this as well it's a bit dusty but that's my Chanel boy purse so now I have the Chanel bag so I'm just going to fit that in there I'm sorry you can't really see but I will show you and then I've got my Louis Vuitton six key holder which I take everywhere so I'm going to fit that in there like so and then obviously I've got my phone and this is the um, 13 Pro Max so it's the larger one so I'm going to pop that in the back of the bag which fits like so, so I'll just show you what that looks like, so that currently fits there like that. Then I've got my Chanel hand cream and I definitely want that in there. The next thing I have are my AirPods, I take these everywhere because I just like to listen to those, so I'm going to pop that there like so, so that fits in there. I have a bit of an itchy nose, so I'm really sorry I'm like scratching my nose. Then I've got some lip products, which I definitely want to take. So this is the Dior lip gloss, and then I've got my Gucci lip balm. So that will fit just on top. It seems to just sort of fit on top. And then I've got my hand cream, and this is just a 50ml hand cream. Um, always have to have a hand cream. And to be honest, that looks pretty much. I might be able to fit some gum and some paracetamol, just because I always like to take paracetamol with me, and some gum, and that pretty much fits like that. So I'm gonna close it up, which closed nicely, and it is quite heavy, but it's not heavy that I feel like it's gonna like break my back. It's the right amount of heavy, and I don't feel like it's completely filled it um, to the brim. Obviously, it's a bit bulged here, but I'm not too worried about that. And when I pop it crossbody, I'm going to sort of try and stand up so you can see, but that's sort of where it sits. So it's basically just on my thighs, I say just on my thighs, but just above my hip. Um, it's not on my thighs, like that's right down there, but yeah, so it's just above my hip. So very happy with that. And yeah, I really love how it sits because a lot of the videos I did watch, the bag was hanging really low and I was a bit sort of like... You know, I didn't want it to hang too low, but it just literally fits by my hip bone. So I am in love and I, yeah, I'm just so happy. So I'm going to take it off and then show you. So try and straighten this out. I think this bag is the old medium. I'm not too sure, um, but you can have it on your shoulder as well, just like so. So, yeah. I am very happy with how it sits and I just couldn't be more happy with my new Chanel boy. So if you've got any questions about the bag then obviously please leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, I honestly 
am so happy with this purchase. Um, it, I feel like it definitely suits me. It's a bit more edgier. I feel like it's going to go with more of my outfits because I do like to wear very casual clothes. Like I've literally got like Converse on at the moment and then like my joggers and just plain white tops. So I feel like this will just go with whatever you wear, you know, whether it's casual. I probably won't take this bag on a night out because I don't want to ruin it and I don't want it to get lost or stolen. So um, this will probably come out with me like if I'm going out for like um, some brunch with friends or shopping, you know, things like that. So yeah, I just, I'm so happy and I can't believe that I now have a Chanel boy bag. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below and subscribe to my channel. There's going to be so many more videos. I'm planning on doing at the end of the month a handbag collection video. I'm just waiting for a bag that I sent off to repair to come back so I can do a full collection, um, 2023 collection video for you guys. I really want to film that and I'm excited to film that. So yeah, I honestly, I'm just like in shock that I have a Chanel boy bag. So I feel like I've probably missed a lot or waffled on but um if there's anything i have missed then just yeah leave me a comment down below and i will get back to you so i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys in my next video bye